Hi there, welcome to this quick tutorial video using the very latest version of Autodesk Revit 2019.1. Today I'm going to show you how to create some view filters to color code the rebar based upon the bar diameter. This is all done using the visibility graphics. You can go to the view tab and then click the visibility graphics. So what I like to do is just simply type VG on the keyboard to get into the graphics dialog box. And what today I'm going to look at the filter tab. I'm going to create some custom filters based upon the bar diameters. So when I look at some of the bars that I've got placed in this column, you will see that it is a bar H20, so it's a 20 diameter. And then we look at the shape 51, and we see that this is a 10. And then we've got to look at some of the links, and we've got some of the meshing as well. And we look at the bars, there are 12. 16 so there's various different diameters there so what I'm going to do is build a color and change the the shading of the individual elements so VG for visibility graphics and I go to my filter tab here you can see there's no filter applied to the view so I'm going to click the add button and this is where you can pick rule based filters and if you've already got some existing you can pick them and then implement them in the view but in this instance I'm going to create a brand new filter so first of all we have the list of filters and down on the bottom we have a list of controls where we can create a new duplicate rename and delete in this instance I'm going to click the new button and I'm just going to call my filter just to keep track of it rebar 10 mil dia so it's going to be a 10 mil diameter filter I click OK and that creates the new filter name what we then need to do is assign a category of element that we're looking to find. So in this instance, I scroll down and towards the bottom, you will find structural rebar. So the filter name is called rebar. And then the category of item I'm looking for is the structural rebar. And once you select this category, you can then build the rule based upon the following filter rule sets. So you can see that you've got all rules must be true and you've got an and or statement. So we're going to just look at the first one. So it's all rules must be true. And here we can add in the simple rules. So in the drop down, we can access any of the parameters from the rebar in the model. And you can see towards the top, I've got one called bar diameter, and I'm going to do a simple equal statement. So the bar diameter equals, select the drop down, and this will actually pick the bars that are defined in the model, or you can simply type that value so I'm just going to say that the bar diameter equals 10 millimeters click apply and that will create that rule in the list we then select it from our list when we add it we select OK and then we can build the visibility graphic filter so in this instance I'm going to ensure that the rule is visible and in this instance I'm going to override the pattern on the surface of the object so I select the override button and then we're going to do it in the foreground and we're going to select a solid fill and then simply select a color. In this instance, I'm just going to go with the standard custom yellow. I then select OK and that has built that filter pattern. Once I click apply and OK, apply it to my model. If anything is 10 millimeter diameter, it will then show. So to test it, I select a bar, change it from a 20 to a 10. Set this to shaded mode and you will see that the bar diameter is now a 10. If I set that back to the 20, the bar will change out. You see the link 51s are 10. If they go to a 12, this go to standard. If they go to 10, they will then change color. So I'm going to go back to visibility graphics. Again, go to filter, select add, edit new create a new filter and I just follow the process as before so this is going to be a 12 mil diameter bar it's going to be based upon structural rebar bar diameter equals 12 select apply select OK and then I select it from the list to add it and then Again, override its pattern. So again, it's going to be a solid fill. The color is going to be green. Select OK. And I'm going to keep going and add in the rest of my filter. So again, edit new, create new, rebar, 16 mil diameter. 
select my category again select my bar diameter equals 16 select apply okay then I select the new filter from the list and override its pattern in the foreground Again, this is going to be the cyan color so three filters added I'm just going to add my final one so it's edit new new filter 20 mil diameter link it to my category click apply click OK select it from the list to add it to my view and then I can simply go in and finally assign the color select apply select OK as soon as I apply this now the model updates and all the filters have now changed so a really quick and easy way to add this to your model what I would finally do then is create a view template so right click on my view create a view template from view so I'm just going to call this rebar color by diameter and then just confirm that that is the settings and just to apply that to a new view so I've got a duplicated view right click apply template properties pick your new color or your new view template click apply and click OK and that just converts it across so a really simple way in your template build up your view filters and then you can control the color of the reinforcement by the bar diameter you could go by shape code and any other variable property or parameter within the rebar so join me again soon for another quick tutorial using autodesk revit